Yeah, you know, I think uh, it took us a period to get you know, mm -hmm. used to each other there. Uh, a little bit sloppy, I guess, as the game was mm -hmm. there early on. And uh, yeah, so I thought we started playing better at the end. Of Do you, uh, how much would you like to be uh, you know, maybe on that line to start the season? Well, I think we're going to the team that we play. They wouldn't want yeah. to play with those two guys. So. Uh, both special players, and uh, you know, it's exciting to be a chance for those guys. You obviously, as a team, competed tonight. Which, yeah, I'm sure it was the big goal coming into the first half. Yeah, game. It's, you know, it's better. Uh, uh, you get into a shootout, and it's, uh, you know, it can be a balance because of, uh, because of the win, but uh, you know, it's good to, to get to overtime. Uh, you know, we like to have the, right, the win regulation, but uh, it, it's a build, you know, build in that, and we'll get one more night. It was kind of a different game, uh, I mean, than you've had. I mean, you guys outshot them every period, uh, shut them down defensively, and uh, and you kept some puck possession. Yeah, you know what? It, like you said, it was a different game. Uh, there wasn't a lot of flow to the game. It felt like a lot of whistles. Um, and we had some chances there, uh, especially in the power play. A couple of shifts where we were able to hem them in, but we didn't score. And, uh, you know, those, uh, those start going in. Just uh, it has to feel good, though, after 5-0 uh, and 5-1. You know, come out and, and really go toe to toe with these guys and, and, and really kind of oh, control play. You know, yeah, they're, they're, they're a good team. Uh, they had some good players in the lineup tonight. Uh, you know, for us, we're trying to get better every game. We're obviously not satisfied with those first two games. And, uh, you know, it's uh, like I said, we're building on it and we got to keep getting better. Appreciate it. Kind of a different, different atmosphere out there. Yeah, guys came to the rink, uh, you know, really focused today. We wanted to put on a, you know, a good performance. Um, you know, we worked hard and executed, and um, so I thought it was a lot better than the last two games we played. And your play, obviously, uh, you have to be pretty good about your play. Tonight. Yeah, um, I felt you know a lot more comfortable out there today. Um, you know, yesterday was a was a tough game, but it was good, good to get the monkey off the back, as they say. And um, you know, yeah, I felt you know quick, and and I was able to make some plays out there, and, you know. Unfortunately, I didn't, you know, bury one in the in the shootout there at the end. But um, I felt I felt a lot better today. You did look kind of jittery yesterday. I mean, is it, is it almost harder now because you know now you're actually trying to make the team more opposed to last year when they threw you in and you knew you're on the team and it's probably a little comfort. For sure, yeah, for sure that's on the mind, you know. But um, you know, like I said, it was just good to get out there yesterday and you know get the first one done. And, and today I felt a lot more comfortable out there. Especially speed, I mean, it's, it's the first time in the preseason where you've been able to really end in scrimmages to just squat. Yeah, um, I got a good chance, a few good chances there. I know Marty was able to chip one up the boards for me. I was able to you know, show my speed a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, uh, there was definitely a few more opportunities for me to do that in the focus. Yeah, it. How was it playing with those, uh, with the, the line mates you had tonight? I mean, you guys looked like you were probably one of the most, probably the most active line out there for the whole game. I mean, every shift you seem to make something happen. Yeah, well, they're uh, they're two great players, and uh, I think you know, you know, game to game, they're going to make great plays together, and uh, it was just good to be a part of that. Thanks. Yep. Uh, getting into the game, I thought. Uh, uh, great improvement by our group. Uh, coming out of really came out of the gate right away and and played a good solid 20, 20 minutes. Uh, didn't take any unnecessary penalties. So we were able able to get into a flow and I uh, really got contributions from everyone. Um, so it, I thought it was a great effort. It was a great step forward for our group uh, coming out of the uh, last night's game and Wednesday's game where I think we were disappointed with with a compete factor at times, but I, I thought as a group, uh, it started with our leaders and, and trickled down to everybody and we had contributions from from four lines and six defensemen. What do you think of uh, Kovacu on that line with with, uh, with Miko and Brunetta? Scored a big goal for us. Um, they, had, they had their moments and, uh, I, you know, the one thing I, I think would take time uh, with Chuck on that line or in that spot is just the, the chemistry. I, you know, right now, you know, looking back at the season and kind of how Miko got into uh, this season, Miko, Bruno, and, and Ante, the chemistry is there. So, uh, you know, he came in and did a good job and, and scored a huge goal for us. And uh, uh, that's one thing that Chuck can do. He, he provides some speed and some energy, and, and he's proven that he can score. Is that one spot where you really want to look at in camp is, is still that right side? Like is Chuck an option there? Or? He's an option there, yes. How about that, uh, the, I mean, the nystrom Havlat Wellman line was, was flying pretty much much of the night. They were good. I, again, we got, 
I thought we had contributions from everyone. Uh, you know, Casey had some great opportunities. Uh, yeah, he was able to use his legs and and uh, win a lot of the races to, to lose pucks in the neutral zone and then was able to create off of that. And, uh, Marty was going pretty good tonight to our, our, in open ice. He was able to make plays, and that's where he's really dangerous. You give him uh, some room, whether it's the offensive zone or through the neutral zone, he can really create. And, and Eric is a is a straight up and down guy, a guy that plays in straight lines and and goes to the net. So uh, you know that was a good mix there. Um, I, you know, uh, our fourth line, I, I was really impressed with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cassie and Rao and and, and Stobitz, they they gave us some great shifts and uh, created a lot of chances and created a lot of energy. The way they were buzzing around and. Uh, playing a physical game. Cassian's looked pretty good the last couple of games. Is, uh, is he making a bid for making this roster? Uh, I, all he can do is go out and play. And, and right now he's playing really well. Um, there's still some things that he has to work on in his game, just like a lot of the young players. But he's opening up my eyes to, to what he can do. Um, obviously, he's a big physical guy. He showed us that. Uh, last night in St. Louis, and and you know stood up for his teammates there, and, and stood up for his teammates here again tonight. Um, but again, I'm impressed with uh, a straight line player. He knows where he needs to go, uh, you know, to the front of the net, and he stands there and makes himself big. And uh, he he's a big kid, and, and uh, uh, he he did a lot of good things tonight. Uh, defensively, and just in, in particular, the play of the back end is something that uh, you you were kind of bemoaning about the last couple of days, but you had to be in. Be, uh, happy about the improvements a lot better there it, it, our forwards definitely helped mm-hmm. but we were cleaner going back for pucks uh, I, I think I spoke to you guys uh, well, I spoke to you last night in St. Mm-hmm. Louis and you know but one of the big things there big problems there was uh, uh, we created a lot of our own problems because we were creating turnovers we weren't able to execute the first pass and I thought tonight we we did a good job going back for pucks our first passes were were tape to tape uh, so now you're able to make the second pass instead of chasing or digging it off the wall. And uh, Scandella did a great job, and, and you know Prosser came in and, and did a good job. So our, the young guys that we were looking at uh, uh, really came in and, and, and had a positive impact. Is Burnsy okay? He, looked, uh, he seemed to be walking fine after the game. Uh, I haven't talked with the trainers yet. I believe he is. Uh, it sounded like he just kind of fell awkwardly on the ice, and, and uh, his leg just went numb. Um, I, I don't think there's reason uh, for for any concern there. Um, so he, I don't think he, he is not playing in, in Montreal tomorrow. So he'll have a day to, to kind of recover and get ready for Tuesday. Todd, knowing what you know now about Josh's situation, can you kind of assess where you are goaltending wise and how you feel about who you've got back there? Well, right now we got we got three guys, and uh, uh, obviously Nick is our guy in going forward, and, and uh, Anton is. Has proven to us, uh, you know, he played uh, a couple games last year, and uh, I guess proven might not be the right word, but he has showed us that uh, uh, at this level he can have some success. But you know, uh, it, it, some guys get up to this level, and uh, you're good enough to get there, but are you good enough to stay there? And uh, you know, the, any of these young guys coming up, that's really what you have to prove. And um, um, you know, Anton will get an opportunity tomorrow. He'll play in Montreal. And you know the thing I like is is watching Hackett play in, in St. Louis, a, a young kid, and uh, he looked like a goalie last night, it composed and, and poised, and uh, he really kept us in the game for for most of the night and gave us an opportunity. Obviously, by the end of the game, it was a it was a different score, but uh, those two guys are have have done a good job for us so far through training camp. But you know, there's there's other options as well, and, and that'll be something that we'll have to talk about as an organization when we get through this weekend, and, and probably th- through our next two games as well. well. You know, where do we go from here? Have you designated one of those two as the backup, or is there no, a no, 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 nothing's. Been, I mean, this just happened last night with Josh. Sure. Not, uh, you know, Nick's our guy. Nick's number one, and and right now we have two guys in our organization that are that are young, uh, but very good goaltenders, and I think they have a promising future, but. You know, the, we might have to make other decisions, but we'll have to wait and see. Thank you. Thanks.